Well, Jake and I have had a very relaxing day on the beach. Weather is gorgeous out here now. So glad we rode out Alberto <laughs> because the rewards have been very sweet. Now we're headed back to our cottage. We're going to get ready, go down to the harbor, walk around a little bit, find some supper, and we're and we're going on a cruise tonight. Do you smell something? That's why Jake's making faces. He smells something weird, not because he's repulsed at the idea of spending time with me <laughs> tonight. But yes, we're going on the red, white, and blue, what's it called? It's a red, white, and blue fireworks cruise with the sea blaster. Yes. We only do it on Thursdays. Yes, we're going on the Destin Sea Blaster, the red, white, and blue fireworks cruise. It's gonna be a blast. We are headed down to Harbor Walk Village right now. guys just a little taste of how bad traffic in Destin can get backed up so our cottage that we're staying in this time is on like the opposite end it's in Miramar Beach so it's quite a ways from the harbor it's about nine miles like from the harbor we left at 5 30 p.m. It is now 6 p.m. We It has been 30 minutes. We have gone a total of three miles. <laughs> that is how bad traffic can get down here, especially in the warmer summer months when everyone's on spring break and out of school and all that good stuff. It's probably like coming down here in October. All you gotta worry about is a few snowbirds and traffic isn't nearly as bad, but we haven't been able to do that the past few years. All those poor souls at Fud Puckers. <laughs> as usual, Fud Puckers is packed out, though I, for the life of me, will never understand why. Our friend Jake here loves Fud Puckers. And I just, I still don't know why. I guess it's for the atmosphere. That's the only reason I can think of that anybody would go to Fud Puckers. Yeah, the gators are cool. Look, perfect example. There's been a boat floating by the beach, or floating, yeah, floating by the beach every single day advertising for Fud Puckers. And you know what it says? It doesn't say world famous food, it says world famous t shirts. Now, if you're a restaurant and that's your biggest like advertising point selling point whatever it is you got problems man but really honestly that's all they that's really all they can claim because if you've ever eaten at fud puckers surely you have learned that their food is not good like at all i am a fud pucker hater Sorry, Jake. <laughs> when you can't find a parking spot, so you make your own. <laughs> you proud of yourself? Yeah. I got me a parking spot now, don't I? Look, I'm kissing, man. I really get to click them, but I'm looking for a sister to the line and win a kiss. If you want to.
picked up our tickets for the booze cruise. Now we're trying to figure out what to have for supper. Down there, I think Margaritaville is the only place down there. There's Dewey Destin's down a little bit further. AJ's. Oh, I didn't know you were considering. Down, down here you have AT's. Uh, Jack of Kudas. Uh, I don't want Harry Tees. Never been to Jack of Kudas. You want to go there? We could try it. Kudas, trying this for the very first time. They are known for their seafood and sushi, apparently. I'm trying the sushi. Jake is playing it safe with some shrimp mac and cheese. Oh yeah, he's trying some of their shrimp rangoons as well. <sighs> we shall see who wins this contest. Look out, folks. She's using chopsticks. <laughs> and I'm good at it, too. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Oh, yeah, you're the best at it. All right. Well, we just finished our Jackie Cudas, and we probably won't be back, eh. unfortunately. It wasn't the worst. It was cheap. It was fast. But it wasn't the best. So. <laughs> and only the best only, will do for us. Only the best. <laughs> I'm fancy. No, just wasn't our favorite. The sushi was average. Mediocre. It wasn't mediocre, it was average. You could get sushi like that pretty much anywhere. And Jake's mac and cheese was eh. the same. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, the shrimp rangoons were the star of the show. It's their best appetizer that they are apparently very well known for. So if you're Still wanting to go to Jackie Kuda's after this, definitely give those a shot. What, Jake? On a ride. Eyebrow. <laughs> Do you smell what the rock is cooking? Jabroni. Just boarded the sea blaster. We're ready to blast off. <laughs> That's what I was gonna say. Oh. Great minds think alike. I'm gonna get drunk. No, we're not. Just kidding. But we like to pretend we are. Turn up, fam. <laughs>
I got boat hair, don't care. <laughs> well, Jake, what did you think of the Sea Blaster? It was fun. Had a good time. Definitely worth uh, the ticket price, I think. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was fairly cheap. And... <laughs> they uh, good to do with little kids, too. They play party music. They make you go really fast. And you get an up-close and personal view of the fireworks on Thursday nights. Yeah. It was amazing. It was fun. They were like right there. It was like they were blowing up in your face. <laughs> Definitely a must do. Well, it is 20 minutes past midnight and we are just leaving the movie theater. We saw Solo. And I gotta say, I don't consider myself a huge Star Wars fan, but I think this has been my favorite Star Wars movie I've ever seen. It was what pretty do, good. What do you think, Jake? <laughs> it was really good. Uh, Rogue One was a good too, though. So I fell asleep during that one, <laughs> <laughs> so I wouldn't know. <laughs> but it, it was really good. I really, very much enjoyed it. So, are they gonna make this like a series thing? Like I don't know. I mean, they could definitely, they could definitely make like another one. They could definitely make another one, like a sequel to this, if they wanted to. I just don't know that they will. I don't think it's doing too good here at the box office. <laughs> really? Yeah, that's what I heard. Soft openings and whatnot. It was so good to me. Yeah. It was really good. Action packed and full of adventure. <laughs> well, I will be sad if they don't make any sequels because I really want to see what happens next. Darn it. Well, Jake and I have had quite a busy afternoon and evening. We are now back at our little cottage. I think we're gonna stay up even later. It's after midnight now. We're gonna stay up even later. Probably uh, finally get started on the second season of 13 Reasons Why. We are super behind on that. We've been itching to watch that since it was released a couple weeks ago. I'm probably gonna have some hummus. <sighs> but yeah, that's probably what we're about to do. I'll probably doze off on the couch and probably see you guys tomorrow. Have a good night. Oh, did I see?